Dr. Pallavi, IVF Specialist, Nova Fertility Center, Tambram. Uh, today, I'm uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, test for male partner. Ba as a basic test, we do semen analysis. If there is any problem in the semen analysis, that is a count is less, motility is less or morphology, depending on that, we will advise some other hormonal test. In case if they are having uh, no sperms in the semen, we will advise uh, some hormonal test like uh, uh, FSH, LH and testosterone levels, prolactin, thyroid levels uh, to rule out whether there is any obstruction in the flow of uh, sperm or uh, it is a production is a defect. If uh, to rule out uh, it is a obstructive azospermia or non-obstructive. So, by depending on this hormonal test, we can um, diagnose whether it is obstructive or non-obstructive azospermia. In if there is any obstruction in the track uh, in the track of uh, re male reproductive system, usually we can uh, uh, take sperms uh, by doing some procedures, and we can use for those sperms for IVF. If non-obstructive azospermia, so the production will be very less. In that particular conditions, even we can advise a testicular biopsy. So, if, uh, if in case they are having uh, very less sperms and uh, there are no sperms at all, we have to advise karyotyping and uh, Y chromosome uh, deletion. Uh, in that, uh, if they have any abnormality in the chromosomal analysis, still we can uh, advise uh, donor sperms or uh, we can advise. Uh, if uh, there is any abnormality in the chromosomal number or uh, Y chromosome deletion, then according to that, we can advise them a uh, pre-genetic test. That is, uh, in embryo, we will take the uh, cells and we will analyze the chromosomal number. And if there is no problem in, the, in that particular embryo, those embryos we can transfer to give good success rate of uh, uh, good success rate in conception.